Morning everyone, welcome to Road Road at Restore. I'm John. Uh, in this video we're going to be working on the CBR1000F landfill bike project and we're going to be refurbishing this nasty looking rusty swing arm. So without further ado, let's go and get some coffee. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all this chain oil, greasy messy stuff and I'm just going to use white spirits and an old paintbrush Okay, so this is going to take ages, so leave it with me and I'll be back when we're ready for the wire brushing. Okay then, that's degreased, best I can get it. Uh, now I'm going to go on with these, uh, get two of these for about a fiver, just over. Just winded wire brushes on the wheel to fit the angle grinder. So let's get one of these onto this. I must say when you use these, they do spin that fast and these bits of metal shoot everywhere. So when you've finished what you're doing, if it hasn't gone in your eye, you know start picking them out of your skin. So make sure you wear good eye protection. I will be using this. Just put a bit of string on it, put it over your head. Bob's your mother's brother. But yes, I'm not going to do any grinding on that camera because we don't want to damage the lens. So if you could see it over there, I'll be using that camera with the old lens. Okay then, so that's enough wire brushing for one day. Uh, got it looking pretty good. Got it looking pretty good. Got it looking pretty good. Uh, just want to get in all these nooks and crannies with something a bit smaller. And then I can rub it down with the uh, glass cleaner. Get rid of all the grease and crap. And then I can put my acid edge primer on it. So leave it with me while I do that and I'll be back in a flash. Okay then so that's all cleaned up with the uh, glass cleaner, window cleaner. Bring you in closer. So next we can go with the acid edge primer. 
high covering power. Ooh. Okay, one last degrease. Because I have been uh, making this jig up so I can spray paint it. Okay, that should do. Right, I've had about three coats or four coats, so I'll leave that to dry and then we can work out what colour to paint it. Okay then, so this is next day, uh, we are spraying this outdoors, so I'm just going to use my scotch bright to get rid of all the uh, green fly and dips and bits and stuff, so just lightly rub it over with this. Trying to avoid disaster. Now I can already see a couple of fingerprints on it, so must have come off my glove. So let's get the degrees back out. Just glass cleaner, really. Okay. Now we can put the top coat on. And the colour on and the colour that I've decided is, is that around the top, which is the same colour as the insignia. As we bought this from Alfred's, it's not quite the right shade. So we'll put it to some good use. So that's two coats. I'll let that dry and then I'll give it a final coat. Okay, let's give it the final coat. And there we go. So we'll just leave that to dry. And then we can uh, go and start on the rack and finish the rack off. Right then, back to the rack. What I want to do is get some strengthening points on those in case they get knocked. Uh, I've been over to the frame. Put it on the frame, I can't really get one either side like I was thinking. Something like that, you know, but 
on the front faces. So the cutting plan I've come up with at the moment is put a piece in the middle of it, like so. And then when that's welded in there, take a piece from that to the side there. So that is my plan at the moment. So let's get on with it. Right then, so I've got some tubes cut off the uh, old deck chain things. So let's go with this one and uh, mark it out and then cut it to size and clean all this crap off of it. See if they fit. <laughs> this one at the bottom. Oh yes, that fits nicely. Yeah, this one must be for the top. Oh yes, perfect. Okay, so now I've got to try and make some sort of a uh, strengthening cross piece so I've got to sort of work out how to cut the angles so they're going to be weird angles so uh, in my mind I'm thinking if I use this old bit of cord measure it to size so cut it down there so it slots in, slot it all the way down, and then draw a cross point. Let me show you what I mean. So if I sort of put that on there, up to there, to that line, so that line's straight, I just draw a line down there and then and get the scissors cut that off does it fit down? oh yes so if I've got that there uh, better put that back in These, these tubes are slightly thinner than those tubes. So I better do my measuring from this tube. So that's going to be there in the middle like so. <clears throat> and then, well this is how my mind's thinking. If I put that in there, Like so, I want it to go to about there, and then it's got to fix to there. So if I move that out of the way, get a straight edge, put it on those two points. line where's my bloody top corn it's holding in that and then cut that out like so I 
little dot on there like that. Can you still see a bit of my saloon shot? Yes, yeah, so hook that on there like that. Then draw another mark there to where it's going to meet. And then put that mark out like so. Then drop that down there, and then we should have our two angles. Well, that's how my mind thinks, anyway. So let's try that. Start at the top point with the spike. level there like that and then same on that side and they should be by two angles to cut that one's a bit deeper than that one so let's get cut in and see what happens Okay then, so with my unmade metal <laughs> miter saw, just put a cutting blade on it, metal cutting blade. But uh, when you do put these on, like any blades, any metal blades, they get smaller and smaller. So I have to manage, manufacture a little bit of a step so the blade can cut all the way through. And uh, what I'm doing now is just trying to line this red straight line up with that draw line that I've made. Say so about there. Now yeah, there might be a bit of a smoky bit here because I've got to go into the wood. So cover your nose and mouth. so that's that cleaned up a bit uh, yes with that one uh, it's a bit small and I don't want to lose any fingers so I'm not going to use the mitre saw I'm going to use the axle just put it in the vice and use the axle let's try it and see what happens See how it fits. Okay, then you probably can't tell, but this table's got a bit of a concave in it. A concave. So, oh. I've got this solid steel. I want a flat surface because I'm going to put that there. Where's my piece gone? Excuse me. But that wants to go into there. Like so. Where's my new piece gone? Excuse me again. Let that. go there. Cool, that'll do for me. So, need to make another one of them for the other side, then clean them both up, and then hopefully my welding wire. And then hopefully my welding wire has arrived, so I can weld it up. So there we go, look something like that. 
clean these two pieces up and then with my welding wire gums I weld it up and uh, I will present it to you then <laughs> so there you go if you like the video please leave a thumbs up and you can also leave a comment down below to give me a bit of encouragement to make more videos like this See you in another life, brother.